Nutty from Nutty's Hot Stock. This week, I am going to present a multi-bagger stock which has a 8x upside potential from current levels. The name of the stock is SKM Egg Products. Before I proceed with the chart analysis, a small request. In case you find value in my video, consider clicking the like button. Also want to inform that I have a WhatsApp group where I provide lots of fresh stock ideas with the chart analysis. Provide regular updates and exit targets for my past recommendations in addition to answering all queries from my subscribers on various stocks. In case you want to take advantage and join my WhatsApp group, consider uh, uh, please ping me on WhatsApp number 8122868878. Also, if you are interested to learn technical analysis, I have recently launched a technical analysis course through my app, the link for which is available in the description. You may download the app and purchase the course. That's it. Let's start the analysis. The chart we are seeing on screen is the weekly chart of SKM egg products. Let's spend some time to understand the price action. Okay? The stock made a high here. Okay? I will put a marker, horizontal line here. Okay? This level represents the high that was made in October 2015. Okay. After that, the stock went into a downtrend, a big downtrend, and it made a low during COVID. Okay. Again, I will mark a horizontal. That's the low point. Okay. This is the high point. This is the so these are two significant pivots in the history of the stock. Okay. This is about the low was made around 2019.7, and the high was 210. Okay, so this is the thing. Now let's understand what happened, the price action. Okay? So after making the low, the stock has been in an uptrend. Okay, when I say uptrend, the stock has been making higher highs and higher lows. So that's in an uptrend. The uptrend, uptrend is still continuing. Okay, now if you if you see what happened, the stock broke out of this previous high, which I call it as cycle point. Okay. Okay. See, for example, it touched here and found resistance. Again, came back, broke. It broke out, came back for retest. Okay, that is the significant point that you need. In fact, as a pattern, if people who have some knowledge of chart patterns, I am seeing a cup and handle pattern breakout. So I can draw the cup like this. I can use the arc like this. This is the cup for me. This is the cup, and there is a small handle. Okay, this is the handle. So this pattern, in uh, technical parlance, is called a cup and handle pattern. It's a bullish pattern, and we have seen that the stock has broken out of this pattern and also completed the retest, which is the most important aspect, because whenever a, a stock breaks out. It always comes back for retest. We should always buy, wait for retest, then only buy. Okay. So in that sense, the stock has also completed the retest, and we can notice we had a very big green candle coming the week before. Okay, week before we had a long red green candle accompanied by high volume. Okay. Another thing we can notice is. The RSI divergence. See, this is I don't know. People who have some knowledge of divergence can understand what it. This is called hidden divergence. Okay, this is called hidden divergence. So we are seeing a breakout, a pattern breakout, retest, a green candle with the volumes in addition to RSI divergence. So all this gives me the bullish uh, the reasons to. Go bullish on the stock. So that doesn't mean that it is going to go from here straight away. In fact, I will tell you. One thing. Let's go to the daily chart. Now I will draw one line, trend line. See, I will change it to red color. Okay, this is 
a resistance trend line for the stock. Can you see that? See, market always respects levels and, you know, so this is a resistance for the stock. And that's why we got two red candles last two days. It touched the resistance and is coming back. So we may have some more selling. I'm just warning you. When I say bullish, that does not mean that it is going to go to sky right from here. There is going to be some reaction. Some more selling is very, very much possible. It could even come back here. Please be aware of it. That's why always buying should be done in small, small quantities by some quantity. If it comes here, which is very likely, buy some more. If it comes here, buy more. Okay? That, is, that is called accumulation. So you need to be accumulating this stock from here to here. That's the accumulation rate. You have to be very patient. Okay, Do not expect miracles to happen immediately. Buy some quantity. If it corrects, buy more. Like that, you accumulate this quantity to ride the... When it breaks out, okay, you can add more if you want. That's all individual's style of trade. Just wanted to point out that. Now, let's try to analyze more to find out the likely targets. Target for the stock. Okay. One way of finding a target is when whenever there is a pattern like this, what people do, they measure the height of the cup and duplicate it on top of the neckline. Okay. So let's measure the using the price range tool. I will measure the cup height. This is the cup height. Okay. So what I do? I duplicate, clone it and take, put it on top of the break point. Okay. This is the break point. That is the target. I will put another market line. Something like 2300. Okay. This is my target. Which is about 8x. Current price is 295. Something like 8x is possible. Okay. That is one target. I will give you several targets. Okay. And we will find the confluence. What I call as PRZ. Potential reversal zone. We will find out. That will give us a range of the target. When I say 2305, that doesn't mean that it is exactly 2306.9. It is not right. Okay? Just we are trying to find a possible reversal target. Okay, That's where the stock is going. Now for that, what I do, I will do some Fibonacci analysis. Now I will let me remove this. Too many lines. You will get them. Now let's analyze this leg that started from here. Okay? When I see that, I notice that the stock made one first action. This is the what I call as action leg. This is action. For every action, there is a reaction. And this is the reaction we have. Okay? I will put it in for reaction. So we had this action the reaction and then we had another action so what i do i will shift that action line here. Like this this is the next action right so after this action we had a reaction this is the reaction so i will move this reaction leg like, like this this is the reaction okay now I will find out how much was the reaction. Just by eyesight itself, I can say it is about 38.2. Anyhow, we will use the tool, retracement tool, and find out how much was the retracement. See how perfect it is. 38.220. Okay. That's the low. Okay. So the retracement is 38. And the corresponding extension for 38.2% retracement is what? 1 divided by 38.2, which is 261.8. So what I do, I will remove this and bring up 261.8 from here. I will use the same tool in the reverse way, like this, 261.8. Okay, 261.8, when I do, that is one time. Okay, 2.6, that's coming, 2.6. Okay, let's keep it. Okay. Now, another way to find a target is, I am seeing this as an A, A, B. This is A, B, B, C, C, D. 
you know there is a harmonic pattern ab equal to cd pattern so let's find out the d point of harmonic pattern ab equal to cd by using this 3.2 okay all right okay here here and here see how these two are coincide 100% okay ab equal to cd if i have to put the pattern there is a pattern ab c okay. this is how the pattern look that is the pattern maybe it is forming this ab equal to cd pattern or that is the previous target see how this previous target that we found you know okay is lining up with this blue one okay let me make this okay let it be okay now another way of finding a target is i'm seeing this as a as an elliot wave structure also this is first wave this is second wave this is third wave this is fourth wave and this is the fifth wave and for the fifth wave there is an equality principle which says the wave wave uh, uh, five is a fibonacci multiple of wave one okay let's find out what is the wave one by using the same to 3.2 and i put it here and i so let me change the color to white the humanic colors white and i will bring up 161 point see now we have confluence of how many four confluence this 161.8 this 100% ab equal to cd pattern this 261.8 and the you know this cup and handle pattern when i when we duplicated we have that means four confluence so this according to me is the i will put a rectangle covering this entire wave that is what i call as prz potential reversal zone i will type prz okay so the target range if you ask me is from 2189 to 26 that's the range okay let's be safe if you want to be very safe let's keep it as 2189 2100 let it be 2100 even then it is 8x okay that's my analysis i hope you like it thanks for watching